Round two. <laughs> Seems like my life been really changing on me. I know some niggas out here hating on me. Hey, I see the bitches how they changing on me. I know some niggas out here snaking on me. Hey, see like. My but shit, now nah, what's the goddamn deal? But we back with another one. We finna get into another Tom McDonald. Shout out to Tom for hitting me back in my DMs. I ain't gonna expose the message like that. But that nigga fucked me hard, like I said. Shout out to Twiggy Gang, Hog Gang, Nay Gang. Uh, goddamn, Up Church Gang, what's that guess? Creek Squad, shout out to all the gangs out there, man. Shout out to everybody, bro. But let's go ahead and get to the sellout. I never sell out. Ever in my life, I never sell out. I ain't gonna sell it to nobody. I ain't gonna sell it to shit. No, I'ma run my channel, do my thing, do my thing on my own. I ain't gonna sell out. I promise you that Twigger gonna be out. Twigger gonna be with y'all no matter what. Ain't no selling out. <laughs> let's get into it. I'm sick of hearing that I changed up. Everybody wanna keep me chained up. Check if it's a race. If I'm running and you walking, I can't wait up. Straight up. I feel like I'm the same as when I came up. Uh. Still, the record label, still the manager. Still do it all with my girl from my home. Yeah, uh. I bought some Gucci, but I hardly even wear it. I was stoked that after 30 years, I finally wasn't broke. And I don't like uh. that stuff. The vibe ain't tough. I should soak the clothes and gasoline and light that up. Uh, he's he telling the truth on this one, man. He's speaking the truth on this one. He been doing his own thing for a long time, you know what I'm saying? But he feel like a lot of shit and it's probably because people make it feel like he sell out because oh well you got this you got that you got that how's he selling out how's he doing anything when he's got 1.4 million subscribers and he getting all that shit doing all the videos at his house like you said with him and Nova and you know me I always got to give shots out to Nova because that was a, a, a great woman to have on your side like that so I got to give her a shot out because she puts in a lot of work for her man and her man put in a lot of work for her so that's amazing but it's like oh, how can he be a seller how can you make somebody feel like some type of way because they got money you know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with Gucci. I never had a Gucci. Never will fuck with Gucci. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't worried about that bullshit. But ain't doing anything else. Like, I don't understand how he could be a sellout. I can't. Stupid little rappers popping Xanax, bad examples for our children. Real talk. I will never write that, bro. I'm the same man, living like I used to. Do uh, it for my fans, getting famous off of YouTube. Real talk. Hope they understand I'm only human. Didn't know that making music would be so confusing. No excuses, that's the uh, truth. I will always be the person who I used to be. I ain't wearing diamonds, I ain't lying about my jewelry. Mm. Every chain is fake and all that Gucci isn't new to me. I bought it secondhand so I look cool on your computer screens. I'm tired of being <laughs> Like but he telling the truth though, man, because y'all believe anything I want to believe in. He's sitting there saying, like, he told you his diamonds ain't real and shit like that, and the Gucci he ain't fuck with it, all that other shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all believe anything y'all see. Y'all think that, like he said earlier in the, in the beginning, he was like, you know, y'all popping perks and y'all think that shit's cool and everything else. Y'all think that a lot of shit that y'all doing is cool. Y'all think a lot of shit that y'all see is cool. That shit ain't cool. At the end of the day, where's it gonna get y'all? You know what I'm saying? Where's it gonna get you to sit there if you're, if you're popping perks and everything else? What you gonna have fun for a little bit and then what? You gonna forget what you doing? I don't, I don't know. I ain't never popped perks, so I don't know what the fuck it feels like. So I really can't even speak on it, but I know it ain't good for you, you know what I'm saying? I just understand that shit. I don't understand that shit. And then look, you see he's showing you in the video how he sets up everything. It's, he's making millions and millions of views, like the last videos on, I think maybe five million now, maybe even seven. I don't know. But he's making all that shit from the inside of his house. You know what I mean? Like, how smart is that? How smart is that? How, you know what I'm saying? How fucking smart is that? He's doing everything on his own. He don't need no regular labels like he's saying. He don't need none of that shit. Y'all gotta use y'all's heads. Not y'all's, not use y'all's heads, not y'all's mouth. If I say that, what you mean, John? Use your heads, think about shit before you speak about a lot of shit. Before you think this is right. Before you say this is right and say that's right. Use your head. Scientists and criticize for every single rhyme I spit. Uh, if you really think I changed, go ask my sister about her wedding dress, my dad about Nepal, or my mom about her appliances. Uh, they say I'm so Hey man, that's so how can anybody be mad at this dude for doing what he doing, following his dream and making his goddamn money, you know what I'm saying? Making his money, bro, buying what he wants to buy. He wants to buy a Louis bag, he can buy one. You know what I'm saying? He wants to buy a brand new car, he can buy one. Now the reference, we talking about his parents, mama must, his sister must still got the same wedding dress. His mama must still got the same appliances and I forgot the other part he said. But obviously he ain't selling out. So y'all stop thinking that my boy is selling out. Because if you think he's selling out, then you're going to have to come see your boy, Twigger. You know what I'm saying? But nah, seriously. He ain't selling out, man. He's just doing it. It's, it's people who don't have what he has. Watching from outside looking in. Saying, I wish I had that. Well, I can't get that. So he got that by selling out. 
I got to think negative thoughts about this man now because I can't go do what he did. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even got to be like Tom. You ain't got to be like me. You ain't got to be like Mr. Beast. You know what I mean? Like out now, Ryan's creative world. You ain't got to be like nobody. Just do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do. Stop worrying about what other people are doing selling out. Criticism verified, spent some years together, now we're going through a scary time. Trust Bro. me, if I witness my hero been acting different and seemed like he might be switching, I'd be tripping, I'd be terrified. Real. Picture this, roaches climbing out the cupboards. I was living in a ghetto, borrowed money from my mother. Uh. I just had a mental breakdown, my girlfriend in the struggle. Then I blew up overnight and we recovered. Uh. We went to Gucci and Louie, moved out the hood to a safe house. Started doing things that we dream when we live. You can't be mad at him, bro, for doing that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You cannot be mad at this man for... Blowing up and doing something, you know what I'm saying? When I blow up off this YouTube, people around me can't be mad at me for that shit. Y'all see me grinding. Y'all know I've been on this bitch for almost two years, grinding, you know what I'm saying? So when I blow up on this bitch, you can't get mad at me for that. You can't get mad at this man for doing what he's supposed to be doing. This man followed his dream and now he blew the fuck up. And for all you talking all that shit and watching all these videos and commenting that bullshit, y'all the ones who put the money in his pocket. So keep continuing to talk shit because you keep getting this man paid. Laid down. Now everybody's saying that I changed and they hate loud. I was trying to show uh, my girl like, hey, babe, we okay now. Okay, Still straight. Still bricks through the window of the lobby of any record uh, label who's trying to stop me. Real Still talk. the voice of every single lonely person with a story they can't tell because they never had my body. Uh, Still the system and pharma and every whack politician and every triggered millennial too offended to listen. Real I talk. I've been trying to show all the haters I did it and I forgot that being Thomas was the promise I'd given. I understand. Uh, I he forgot who he was supposed to be because he's sitting there trying to worry about what the fuck y'all got going on. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about fuck the politicians, fuck you little millennials who ain't trying to understand that shit. Because all y'all little kids ain't going to be understanding that shit. Y'all looking at everything outside looking at. Y'all looking at all the hair, all the tattoos, everything else to probably pay attention to the goddamn videos. Then you going to come and say some bullshit when you ain't even going to be paying attention to the first goddamn place. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it'll never stop time. They always going to fuck with you, bro, which we get it. You know what I'm saying? I know that you got, you know what I'm saying, 1.4 million subscribers, probably two on Facebook and everything else. Like, so, if you get a bunch of flooded comments with shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get that like that. Not yet, you know what I'm saying? But you get a bunch of comments, so I'm pretty sure it's a lot and it's a lot of hectic. And, you know, we do read our comments. We got to read our comments. That's not how we going to know what y'all feeling like and everything else, what works for us and everything else. But a lot of y'all be going in in these comments for no reason. What, is, what does it get you to sit there and talk shit about this man or talk shit about me or talk shit about anybody behind the camera? When y'all not even willing to do that same shit, you know what I'm saying? What is the deal? What's the point? Y'all comment down below. Let me know. Lately saying I changed, but I get bored of everything that stays exactly the same. Real talk, you I can't stay the same. Burn it down with fuel and flames before Real talk. I lose myself and become all the things that I hate. Uh, uh how you fun, boy? Uh. My mistakes Got to I Grew up and I changed But uh, I swear I'm still the same I know you're gonna say same uh, I fell along the way Okay More than I could take uh, That's how it happens Turned out okay Turned out okay They say I sold out the weekend They don't work with me no more They say I changed up now he didn't change up, he didn't sell out, man. He just pursued his dream and did some shit that y'all would never do. A lot of y'all would never do. A lot of y'all won't expose nothing. A lot of y'all won't stay true to yourself. A lot of you guys are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, fifteen stupid ass million names on YouTube and y'all hide behind them names, you know what I'm saying? Y'all hide behind an alias, y'all hide behind filters, y'all hide behind a camera, a keyboard, a mouse, a phone. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hide behind all this other shit. But at the end of the day, he making his bread. You see him with the gold mouth, the Louis bag, you know what I'm saying? He's still gonna get his bread. He's still gonna do what he's supposed to do because he pursued and, and chased his dream. Are you chasing your dream? Are you? Because I'm chasing mine. I hope you're chasing yours because it makes sense to chase your dream. Become somebody you want to be and not somebody you're not. Think about that. Sold out, man. 
gold mouth. Louis Bag, hold up. Louis Bag, boy. Everything I was uh. made me everything I, everything I am. Everything I am. Video by Miss Nova, like it always is. Shout out to the Hangover Gang. Shout out to the goddamn Twigger Gang. Shout out to all the gangs. Let this man live his life. Stop worrying about him saying he sold out because he didn't sell out. Like I said, he's just going to live his life, a life that you'll never be able to live because you ain't going to never pursue shit. I hope you do. I hope you ain't one of the people out here going to sit on your ass and not do nothing and talk shit about everybody else because it doesn't make no sense, guys. It really don't make no sense. Don't be a no sellout. Please don't be a sellout. Be a person who wants to make some of themselves, who wants to go places in life, who wants to see things, who wants to help the world, you know, help children, help this, help that. Don't be one of these people out here who wants to sit here and keep making the world a fucked up place because it's going to continue to keep getting fucked up if you guys keep doing what y'all doing. I'm not blaming everybody, but everybody knows. A lot of people know who you are and how you are, what you bring to the table, and what you bring to life. Because a lot of y'all got lives that y'all sh shouldn't even have, honestly. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you should die and all this other shit, but it's like, if you're just wasting your life sitting here talking about people and crying and being negative about shit, you really don't need it, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Let somebody else have it. It's crazy to say that shit, but damn, I rather somebody else be born who wants to be in the world than who somebody who is all negative and shit all the goddamn time and talking about my boy Tom McDonald, talking about he a sellout. He ain't no sellout. He out here selling shit out. Shout out.